Let's learn in this video how to apply GitOps into a Kubernetes cluster. GitOps is a little bit different than DevOps. With DevOps, we use it to push the configuration into the cluster. But now with GitOps, we'll go to pull that configuration from a Git repository. In this demo, we'll be using Argo CD as a GitOps tool within Kubernetes, but note that within this CNCF land landscape, there are lots of other tools that are well known within the open source community like Flux and Flagger. Argo CD as, is managed as an open source project within GitHub repository where you can find more documentation on how to use it, best practices, and so on. The same applies for Flux, actually, it's available on uh, GitHub and both, let's say, works almost the same way. And my, my goal in this video is to show you a demo on how Argo CD works. So I'll show you how to install it and then how to run a sample application within Argo CD. So I'll not be using lots of scripts, just three lines of code right here that I'll be using to install just Argo CD using a Helm chart. So let's get started without further ado. So here I'll use the, these sample commands. First command is to add the repo into my Helm charts on my local machine. And then I go to install Argo CD into my AKS cluster. So not here from within this console. I'm already connected to my AKS cluster that I've created in Azure. So here I go to change some configuration into the Helm chart. I want to expose the Argo CD dashboard on a load balancer that will give me public access through a public IP address. And then I want to install it into its own namespace that I've called here Argo system. And I'll make sure that namespace exists with the flag uh, create namespace. So here it will tell me that now in order to access that Argo CD, I can either do port forward or because I've exposed it through public IP, I'll use that public IP. And then here it will give me instructions on how to uh, connect through login and password. The login is uh, will be always admin. And then for the password, you can uh, get it through this uh, command to get the secret. Uh, it's actually save it as a secret uh, in, in Kubernetes. So let's first get the public IP with get SVC. And that will give me this public IP address that will give me access to the Argo CD dashboard. I'll go to open that from my browser. Oops, that shouldn't be actually my Argo CD is installed inside the namespace Argo system. So I'll get the name there or the IP from there. And here it is, my Argo CD server. I'll go open that from my browser. And here it gets me it's not configured for HTTPS, no problem for this demo. I'll go continue with that mode. And here it will ask me for the username and password. So the username is admin and then for the password, I can retrieve it from my Azure portal. If I go here to my AKS cluster, then I go to configuration, then select secrets. Then here I find the secret called initial admin secret in my uh, namespace. Here I can see that encoded secret. I click on this icon to decode it on base 64, then copy the value of that secret and use it to connect to the dashboard. So now within the dashboard is empty and here I get this button to create a new application that will be deployed into uh, AKS cluster onto, or onto any uh, Kubernetes cluster. So for now, this Argo CD is installed inside my AKS itself. So here I start with an application name. So let's call this one my app, simply that, and then specify a project. Let's use the default. For the sync policy here, we want to uh, we want the application to be deployed automatically when there is a change into the Git repository. So we'll change we'll use automatic instead of manual. That means um, we need to trigger the new deployment manually. And then within Argo CD, we will go actually to connect to a Git repository and we'll go to pull the YAML files or a Helm chart from that repository. So for the demo, I'll use one of my repositories right here, which is products on store, product store on Kubernetes, which contains a Helm chart that I've created earlier inside the charts folder right here, where I have actually two charts, first chart and products store. I specify the URL for that repository. And then I continue with head revision. 
And now for the path, it will ask me to choose one of the two helm charts that I have. I'll continue with the first chart. And then here, uh, Argo CD needs to connect to the Kubernetes API, to the API controller, which is exposed through this name, uh, through this service name, kubernetes.default.svc. And that lives inside the default namespace, actually. And now uh, Argo CD detected that Helm chart. So it will ask me if I want to make some changes to that Helm chart. So here it asks me either I can specify a values uh, file or I can also provide the parameters of that Helm chart from here. So those values actually comes from my first chart where I have the values.yaml. And where I have all of these values, I can override them from within Argo CD. So I'll go, for example, to change the number of replica to be five, for example, and then I'll change the service type to be load balancer. Then I'll go to say create. Oops, of course here, uh, this should be lowercase or lowercase for the name of the app. Let's make sure we respect the naming conventions, create. And now here I see in this dashboard that the creation started, it was triggered right here, so it will pull that uh, Helm chart from my Git repository and then it will go to deploy it into the AKS cluster. This will take a few seconds. And now it tells me here it was synced successfully. If I click on my app, then from here I get this very, very nice chart that shows me my application that was deployed into the cluster and that deployment or those objects uh, de describe it inside that helmet chart will go to create a service called my app first chart and then create a deployment. And that deployment actually would have the five replica that we have specified earlier in the helmet chart. So from here, I can see my five pods and all of them, they are running successfully. And my uh, service actually will route traffic to those different uh, uh, pods. What is nice is that within this visual tool is that I can navigate through the different objects that I have in my cluster. So from here, I can see the uh, properties and the YAML files for my service. And I can see also this exposed public IP address for my service. So I'll copy that and open it in my browser. And here it gives me access to that Nginx sample deployment that was described inside the Helm chart. I can also view the different events for creating the services and so on. The same applies for the different deployments. So I can view those configuration files, view the YAML and view the properties, the different events, and also view the logs from the different containers. And I also can go grab one of these pods and check its configuration. And also I can view its logs from here. Now from here, I can change this configuration at any time. If I right click right here, then go to app details. I have here this parameters section where I can go to edit those values and change these values as I want. So if I can, uh, I want to make this 10 replica instead of five, just save these changes and that will uh, change the YAML of that uh, uh, application and my Kubernetes cluster. And from here, you can see now I have actually 10 pods running instead of five. Of course, the idea with GitOps is that we make these changes from the Git repository, not from uh, the Helm, uh, not from uh, Argo CD itself, preferably. So we can actually do that from here. If I go to my uh, Git repository, if I go to the Helm chart to the values, I, if I make any change right here, it will be also reflected in my uh, uh, cluster right away. Another visual tools available within Argo CD is here the view to be able to view the different uh, pods deployed within the different nodes. So here I have a three nodes Kubernetes cluster and here I can see their CPU and memory utilization and the pods that are deployed inside each, uh, each of these uh, uh, nodes. Then for the networking section, I can see my service that is uh, loading the requests onto my 10 different pods right here. So we see this nice flow going from uh, the internet uh, to my public IP and then going to the service and then to the different pods. I hope this demo was helpful. If you are looking for more videos, uh, check out my YouTube channel for more videos about Terraform, Kubernetes 
and DevOps. Thank you.